She was an easy person to love. She wasn't braggadocious, she wasn't proud. She had an humble spirit about her. Her thoughtfulness toward others was just unbelievable. Uh, Jean believed that the Lord gave it, and therefore you ought to use it for the Lord's work. She loved Baptist ministries, that's why she dealt so much in this business of the Baptist Foundation. She just, she just loved Baptists, and she liked for Baptists to do well, and she bragged about what Baptists were doing in their ministry. She thought it was great. Jean and I had been going together for some months, and uh, we belonged to the Senior Citizen Choir in the First Baptist Church in Tulsa. Word got out that they were going to go on a trip uh, they would fly out to California and then go up and down the coast of California. And uh, so Jean said, I'm going, would you like to go? And I said, uh, yeah, I, I kind of like to go. She said, well, we've got four days to get it, to, to get things done. And she said, uh, if you're gonna go on that trip with me, you're not gonna sleep in my bedroom unless we're married. And I said, well, then let's get married. And she said, okay, let's get married. We've got four days to do it in. So we got it all done in four days. We, we bought our license, we bought a suit. Well, we, we did the whole arrangement in four days time. And we were on the plane and flew out to California and had 30 chaperones on our honeymoon. <laughs> when we were married, I would go out to the uh, mailbox and get the the mail, bring it in. And the first of the month, here would be these four or five checks that are, are envelopes that I knew came from different uh, uh, benevolences, different charities, different uh, organizations that had ministries. And so uh, she would open up those envelopes and stretch it all out on the kitchen table. And then she would get her checkbook out. And for maybe two mornings, after getting all those checks, she would sit there with a silly grin on her face as if she was in second heaven, and she'd write checks to uh, 12, 14, 15 different charities. And I had no idea of the measure of Jean's giving. I would see her write the checks, and I knew she was giving. And I mailed the letters, but I didn't know what was in, in the letter when I mailed it. But after her death, uh, here came these letters addressed to Mr. Rainwater. Uh, uh, and the letters would say, uh, Dear sir, we wanted you to know how much we appreciated the generosity of your wife. Her gift meant so much to us. Notes like that came almost every week for months. I doubt if anybody has ever had the experience that I've had these last six or seven months since Jean's passing. The expressions of generosity that have come to me, and I had nothing to do with it. It was Gene's giving, but Gene gave, and it'll, it'll bring a lump to your throat when you think about how generous that woman was.